Welcome to Calabar. Welcome to Cross River. Expressing his passion to develop Cross River State into an industrial state, President Gulag Jonathan says if re-elected, his administration will consolidate on the already led foundation to achieve this dream. We must get an eastern corridor of a rail line from Lagos to assess Obudu Katorans. Calabar is becoming the most industrial city in the south-south and it has the facilities. All we have to work with you is to dress the channels for the Calabar port so that the port will become functional, so that Tinapa will become functional. That is one of my dreams. God willing, when you send us back, the governor and his team and the elders will sit with us and will look at the priorities of the state. And we will work with the state to give you what you want. Highlighting the developmental projects facilitated by President Jonathan's administration in the areas of power generation, job creation, increased GDP and foreign investment, Vice President Namadi Sambo urged the people to vote President Jonathan for continuity. Because of the policies of industrialization of Mr. President, today we are producing 35 million tons of cement and we are exporters. Go tell them, Jonathan is coming back. Nigeria women, remember that PDP has done well for us. And Mr. President has done well for Nigeria women. We need your cooperation. We need your vote for President Goodluck Jonathan come 14 of February 2015, which is running mate architect Mohamed Namadi Sambo. Some governors from the South-South Zone, including Governor Lee Limoke and other party stalwarts, urged the people to vote PDP and ensure that President Jonathan is re-elected for more dividends of democracy. Governorship candidate for the state, Professor Ben Ayade, was also presented to the people. Kenneth Nani, NT News.